to my channel this is miss beauty to you and i'm here to do a product review for you and a test on two products and those products are the milani prime shield face primer and this one that i have is the mattifying and pore minimizing primer and i got it from the drugstore for around 9.99 and this is also supposed to be oil free. And I'm gonna be comparing that to the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, which is pore minimizing as well. Both of these primers are supposed to be the same, supposedly. Um, I read some articles and some information online that said that this Milani primer was a dupe for this Smashbox primer. So you're looking at $39 for the Smashbox versus around $9.99 for the Milani primer. So what I have done for you guys is I have tested out both of these primers. I applied the Milani on the right side of my face and I applied the Smashbox on this side of my face and I wore my makeup all day long and I came back and checked in with you guys um, during the middle of the day to let you know was it working to let you guys know if I was still mad, was I still shining? And then I came back um, with final results to let you guys know how these two primers worked out. Was one better than the other one? Was it not? So if you're interested in watching, please stay tuned. Okay guys, first we're gonna start with the Milani Prime Shield Primer. And this primer says that it primes skin to create a smooth canvas and it mattifies and perfects the skin. It also is supposed to minimize the appearance of pores and fine lines. And right now I'm just showing you guys the consistency of the primer. It is clear. And as you can see, it goes on really, really smooth. So now I am just applying this Milani primer to the right side of my face. Also guys, I won't be looking to see if this these primers are pore minimizing because I don't have visible pores. So I'll be looking for the mattifying aspect of the primers so next i'm starting with the smashbox photo finish primer and it is supposed to be pore minimizing and it's supposed to be mattifying as well and this is the consistency of it it's like a pink or whitish color and as you can see on my hand it is very very smoothing so now i'm gonna apply that smashbox primer to the other side of my face also guys, both of these primers are supposed to be oil free and I have normal to dry skin in case you were wondering. Also guys, please excuse my oily lids in this video. I forgot to prime them. <laughs> okay y'all, so now I am headed out. I have put the primers on my face. I have Milani on this side and I have Smashbox on this side. So I'm gonna wear both of these primers all day. And I will let you know which one held up the best. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, y'all. So I am back to check in with you guys to let you know how these two primers are holding up. So, so far, this is how my makeup is looking. And the first time that I came to you guys, it was around 9.30 in the morning. So now it is... 1 52 p.m and i think that i still look pretty matte so i guess both of the primers are doing a really good job at staying mattified so i will check back in with you guys later on in the evening so that you can see so that you can see how the primers end up doing but so far so far so good okay y'all here are the final results of both of these primers the smashbox primer versus the milani primer it is now 756 so i have had my makeup on from 9 30 this morning until 756 this evening and this is how it looks and i'm gonna zoom in so as you guys can see Still doesn't look too bad however there is shine here and shine here and in my t-zone a little bit but overall i'm still pretty matte all over so in comparison to both of these primers i have to say that they kind of work the same 
because my T-zone is a problem area for me in the outside of my nose. And every time I wear the Smashbox, I still look like this within eight hours or so. So I would say that these work the same. I really do think that these work the same. Okay y'all, so that's pretty much what I think about these two primers. I mean, you guys be the judge. What do you guys think of my before and my after? Do you think it still looks the same? Is one side of my face more shinier than the other? I mean, you're looking at the Smashbox primer, which cost around $39, and the Milani primer, which is around 10 bucks. So, I don't know. Like I said, you guys be the judge. As always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at MissBeautyCU1. Follow me on Twitter at MissBeautyCU1. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.